Hello, welcome to potentially the spiciest video on this channel. Well, I thought that. I asked you guys to ask me anything, and the first thing I saw was, how big is your baguette? I mean, I've got a garlic roll in the fridge. It's sliced into, <laughs> it's sliced into quite a lot of pieces. Read into that as you will. But yeah, it's time for some metaphorical nakedness as I delve into your juiciest questions. Let's get sticky from the juice of the questions. Bad start. Are you have the gay? The gay, I do have. Do you want kids at some point? Yes, I want nine kids, all with fluffy tails. I'm making a troop of furries. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. I think so. Maybe at some point. Definitely not in the next 10 years. I mean, at this rate, we're all gonna live till we're 120 and be half robots. I think I'm gonna look at the world when I'm like 47 and be like, do I wanna bring a little fill into this? Or am I happy with my 97 dogs? I guess we'll see. <laughs> Without showing names, show your last five Twitter DMs and their follow account. That is so specific. Ooh, okay, there is one celebrity in there that hit me up for a sexy conversation about politics. Apart from that, um, yeah, nothing spicy. Why don't you dye your eyebrows black? Uh, rude. Once a girl came up to me actually in a shopping center and went, you really need to dye your eyebrows. And that's become a bit of a complex for me. But I think I look good. I like my eyebrows like this. They might go a bit ginger in the sun. That's fine. I don't care. I think I look very severe with black eyebrows. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let me find a Sharpie. Actually, I've got a makeup thing somewhere. Wait. A few inches later. I've got a professional makeup Brow pencil. Not doing anything. Oh, it is. Oh, it's doing it. I'm gonna do this in the mirror so it actually looks good. A few moments later. Okay, you ready? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that does not work. Maybe I'd put a bit too much here. Wait. Look at these little wrigglers on my face. I feel like I can have more expressions now. No, I'm taking it off. Do you regret doing a TV commercial? I do regret that. I mean, I got paid 50 quid for it, so you should know your worth, people. I was young though, and the idea of doing some random TV advert did seem funny and chaotic, and it was. <laughs> in retrospect, so you should take some risks in your life, but generally read contracts Don't sell your soul to the devil unless he's hot worst sexy time experience. Can I say this? Okay uh, <laughs> A kind of boyfriend I had at university sent me a text asking me to write his name on a certain part of my body <laughs> Hey, I don't know where your mind's going. It could be my earlobe. Anyway, I Did not do that. Don't want to shame anyone <laughs> If you like people writing on parts of their body, great. Have you ever smoked a weed? I mean, what, uh, uh, okay. Once a hot guy at a party was like, do you want some? And in my head I was like, his mouth has been on it and I'll look cool if I do. And I coughed about seven times and embarrassed myself. So that was super cool and I enjoy thinking about it. Most selfish thing you've ever done. Are you trying to just make me sad? I had a friend, a childhood friend, and she was having a wedding and she invited me to it, which is nice. It's an honor to be invited to a wedding, okay? I totally forgot to write it in my calendar and then I went to VidCon, didn't go to the wedding and that really upset her. Obviously, I mean, she paid for food and I was a place at the wedding. You should really go to one if you say you're going to go to a wedding. Anyway, I felt really bad. I was like, I'll pay you the money. Uh, I'll take you out for dinner. But she blocked me on everything and it's no longer my friend. And I do feel bad. I don't think it was fully selfish, but I really should have organized my priorities and put it in my calendar. I'm really sorry. If you stumble across this for some reason, let's be friends. Why don't you swear on the internet? We wouldn't mind it if you did swear. Okay, look, here's the thing. I do swear in everyday life all the f***ing time. No, <laughs> not that much. Just a bit. However, I think originally it was because my parents and my grandparents watched my videos and I never swear around them. It's like a thing in my family. I don't know why it's weird. Families are weird sometimes. That was one thing. Secondly, I liked that my videos are kind of accessible to most people because some people are offended by swearing. I mean, I will let some slide though, like dick. I <laughs> like that my mind just went to dick. Uh, bitch. What else will I say on this channel? Anything that's not the F word really. Tit. <laughs> oh no, I've empowered myself. Will there be a garden attached to the new house? Yeah, we do have outside space. I'm so excited. I kind of want to get a rabbit or a flock of goats, which I, <laughs> I'm sure the neighbors would love. Britain or US. Britain kind of tips the scale for me. I like the free healthcare, less guns. We've got loads of our own problems as well though. I kind of just want to move to New Zealand. Take me with you, hobbits. What's your worst memory of you and Martin? Once I did throw a spade at him. I didn't realize spades had a sharp edge, okay? I, th <laughs> I thought I could just throw the spade. Anyway, it hit him in the leg and really hurt him and I felt terrible and that was almost a murderous situation. So yeah, don't throw spades at your brother when you're seven. First boyfriend. Okay, he had a cool name. What should we call it? Sebastian. I met him at university on a dating app, not Grindr, and we hit it off. He was much cooler than me. He worked at Abercrombie. 
He was a bit annoying actually thinking back, but I was just like, wow, you're hot, I like you, I love you. Which I think is similar for anyone that is getting into a relationship for the first time. But yeah, he came to my university a few times, we hung out a lot. I was like, I'm in love with you. I don't think he really cared about me that much. He bought me a plushy robot though, which I was obsessed with. I loved this robot. And then two weeks later, he cheated on me. Big heartbreak for me, I was sad. I cried, I ate a lot of Ben and Jerry's. And then all of my university housemates hosted a robot burning ceremony for me. <laughs> On my behalf. Do you feel a bit bad that a robot had to be murdered for my heart to be fixed? Oh, that was a sentence. <laughs> well, that's how it goes sometimes. Least favorite zodiac sign. Isolate some fans, Phil. Um, probably Scorpio. Look, I don't like creepy crawlies with legs that want to kill me. Also, it's the cool edgy one. So I'm probably a little bit jealous as well. What's the most expensive item you've ever bought apart from your house? Okay, you ready for me to flash some cash? Uh, it's inside this room. You are inside it. It's this camera. I think it was about two to three thousand pounds. Maybe that or the iMac. Oh, or actually the Japan holiday if you completely total everything we did and everywhere we went. That was definitely expensive, but totally worth it. How old were you when you learned about the birds and the bees? I was about seven. I found a dictionary and I just looked up sex to see what it was. And I think it was very clinical. It was like, it is the act of putting a penis in a vagina. And I just thought, why would I want to do that? And closed the book and went about with my day. Do you see our Instagram posts? I don't really search my name into Instagram. Would that be a bad idea? I'm gonna do it. All right, here we go. Uh, why am I tagged in this? That is not me. I do like his swimming trunks. Usually art. That's cute. Don't say you hate it. That's really nice. Froggy.fan, what, what is this? What abomination have you created? <laughs> Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. No. Ass or feet? Feet are just like extra hands on people's legs. They freak me out a bit. Nothing sexy about that. So we're back on the ass. Another ass related question. Would you actually do an ass reveal for three million pounds? <laughs> if any of you are around for this conversation, I did say I would do this. Uh, if any brands want to hit me up, sponsor me for three million pounds, I'll put your name on my ass. I'll do an ass spawn. Are there any YouTubers that you don't like? No names needed, but I'm curious. Have you had bad experiences? Uh, some YouTubers back in the daily vlogging boom were a bit annoying. If I wasn't friends with them, like if I'm friends with someone, sure, I'll be in your vlog. That's great. I've agreed to it. But if someone just started filming me before even saying hello, it just felt like they weren't respecting my boundaries and making me be content rather than making me feel content. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it would have been nice to have a, hey Phil, can I film you for this video? And then start filming, at least. Not be like, hi Phil, what's going on? So yeah, I'm not holding any grudges about it. It was just a bit annoying. Show us a pic where you think you look really good and genuinely compliment yourself. I think this will be hard. And that's something about myself I need to improve. I don't like photos of myself that much. I always find it quite an ordeal to find a picture that I like and I should just let it go and not care because I've got a good face. My face is nice. Let's do it. Let's give myself a bit of self love. Is that a word? You know what I mean? Phil, you look nice here. You've got good hair. Your face is nice. Your eyes are popping. And generally, you're a good looking chap. No, that is irredeemable. I'm so sorry. What is Dan's worst outfit? Probably the leather shirt. I know it was cool and fashionable at some point, but I think we were meeting Smosh on the day that Dan was wearing that. And I was just scared that they'd think he was weird because it was a weird shirt. It did not look good. <laughs> so sorry, Dan. I'm glad that one went in the bin. Maybe I accidentally threw it away. I don't remember. I mean, I'm saying that, look what I was wearing. And finally, let's do a random one. What shape is your bum hole? No. I think that's enough <laughs> for today. It's a triangle. There we go. Hopefully you learned something new about me and you enjoyed this little adventure. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I've got like a million questions, so I could do another one of these if it was popular. Watch it again if you want. Uh, you can check out my last video, find out who my gay crushes are. Subscribe, ding the bell if you're into dinging bells. Hopefully you are. And I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.